the questions. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, obviously we didn't do much of anything well tonight. Um, you know, gave up three or four hits on 0-2 counts, hit a guy on an 0-2 count, a couple plays, you know, that were would have been tough plays, but plays we should make um, certainly, you know, and that, you know, we just didn't get anything going offensively. Um, Rhett, you know, he battled, but he didn't have his good change up today. I'm not sure, you know, kind of why, why that was, but uh, he just couldn't really get his change up going. And that's a, an important pitch for him. But um, again, you know, just a disappointing um, result and, uh, and effort. And uh, we, we need to get a whole lot better real soon because we've got probably the toughest part of our schedule coming up here at Florida State, who's playing really well, and, uh, and at Louisville, who's playing really well. So we've got to, you know, we've got to right the ship here in the next, uh, the next few days. Um, how disappointing is it to win a Friday game the way that you did and, and that things look so sharp two days ago and then yesterday and today look the way they do? Yeah, it's it's really disappointing. I mean, again, I felt like yesterday we needed to find a way to win that game. And, and um, you know, I feel like hopefully in the, in the near future we'll start winning games like that because we certainly had chances to win that game and, you know, wasted a, a great effort by Will Fleming and, you know, if we win yesterday, that puts a lot of pressure on Georgia Tech um, today. And and uh, they came out and scored early and, and um, you know, were able to play play loose and free. And, you know, anytime you're playing a team in our league that's playing loose and free, they're a dangerous team. I don't want to I don't want to make it seem like Georgia Tech was lucky in the first inning, but, you know, a couple of those hits didn't leave the infield. The double down the line looked like it was a little bit of a looper. I mean, is that just something Red's got to got to be able to kind of internalize and and be better with as a freshman? Yeah. Again, they they only scored one in that first, so it, he did a good job of kind of battle in there, you know. But again, you know, made a you know a bad two strike pitch to Waddell, and then a bad two strike pitch to Gonzalez, you know, for the ball that went off. As that was an O two pitch to Gonzalez on the ball that went off his foot, so. You know, just one of those things where I think just with two strikes, we just didn't make enough really good pitches today, um, you know, to, to put hitters away. And, and again, Georgia, Georgia Tech's offense, that's what they do well. They're, they're kind of pesky. And if you're locating your fastball in, you have great success. But if you're out over the middle of the plate, they find a way to, you know, punch in hits like that. So, again, but you're right. I mean, you know, the second hitter of the game, after the double the second hitter of the game, I mean, you can't throw a better pitch than that. And you fist them and then you kind of – you know, fist another guy on a double play ball, but it's not hard enough to get a double play ball. And then, you know, and then we get 0-2 on Compton and he singles to left. And then we get 0-2 on Gonzalez and he singles up the middle. Um, so, you know, just one of those things where that, that first inning, um, you know, could have could have certainly went a lot different if, if um, you know, we had, um, you know, just made a couple better 0-2 pitches and or got a little, you know, more fortunate on a couple of those early balls. Tom, I know that we – I feel like we're asking this, like, a lot in the post game, but how concerned are you about the offensive drought? And it's like you know that your team can hit better than what they're hitting, but at what point is that going to come to fruition? Yeah, I mean, I hope soon. I mean, again, again, it's going to get harder these next two weeks. Um, so, you know, obviously having Tarconi and Tinsman back in the lineup will help. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, we've – We've just got to get more consistent quality at bats up and down the lineup. I mean, today, you know, in a day where the wind's blowing in, you know, just too many fly balls, too many strikeouts. We just need to be more, you know, on days like this at our park, you know, you need to be more kind of hard and low and, and have a better approach. And, you know, we knew they had a shaky bullpen too. And, you know, we let their guy get through six innings in or five innings in like 74 pitches. Um, you know, so it's one of those things we've, when we know they've got a shaky bullpen, we've got to be willing to walk more. We've got to be willing to miss low more. Um, just have you know, kind of better better approaches to our bats. Was going off on on the better approaches was part of the problem there. The I think it was the sixth when it was bases loaded with one out, and I think it was Cole went down on three pitches, and then Adam was what was first pitch uh, ground out maybe. I think. Yeah, you know, again, I mean, Cole's at bat was a little like his at bat yesterday. I mean, we've just got to get on top of the baseball. He had a couple pitches to hit. He chased the 0-2 pitch out of the zone, um, but had two pitches to hit before that, and we've got to – and he missed below the ball. Um, you know, so it's just one of those things where on a day like this – and yesterday, Cole's at bat was the same thing. I mean, he came up in a big situation with nobody out, and, you know, he was the winning run. And, um, you know, and again, and ended up, 
you know, popping up on a three, two pitch. And, um, you know, again, that at bat and, and check swung on a two, one pitch, you know, that was out of the zone. So it was just one of those things where, you know, if we just have a couple better at bats here and there, it just turns the, turns the game the other direction. I know it ended up being an eight, one game and really didn't factor in the outcome, but what kind of, uh, response did you get when you asked about, I guess, I guess this catcher's interference that was called in that one kind of weird fluky play. Yeah, it's, um, it was catcher's interference and I, which was the right call. I mean, it was clearly catcher's interference, but you know, they shouldn't have awarded the guy from second home plate, you know, because the umpire came out and stood in front of home plate and called time. Um, so Parker, the pilot picked up the ball, you know, went to throw towards home and then, um, you know, and then got, um, you know, saw the umpire and then just kind of ate it. Um, so again, just one of those things, it was just a fluky, like you said, Les, it was just a fluky play where, you know, the umpire, you know, probably made a, made the wrong call there. Anything else guys? Thanks Tom. Appreciate it. Thanks guys. Thanks Paul. Hey guys. What's up, Chris? How are you doing? Doing good. Um, do you feel like you kind of are getting some things going, Chris? You, you not went out of the park today, got a couple hits, uh, moved up to the two hole and, and kind of, uh, you know, got, made a couple, made some things happen. Yeah, um, definitely feel like I'm starting to get things going. I mean, hitting's hard in general. So, I mean, uh, you know, it was, it was tough to, to get to get things going. But, but I mean, I'm, I'm just keep swinging and and uh, nothing really mechanical going on. Just, you know, not always seeing a beach ball. Sometimes it's a, uh, it's a pinball. So um, I'm feeling a lot better right now. Chris, when you think about how good Friday's game went and then last night and today, how disappointing is it to, to lose this series when you have the upper hand just, you know, whatever, less than 48 hours ago? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, definitely any any ACC series uh, losing is, is, uh, is a real tough and, and uh, we felt like we had momentum uh, coming into Saturday and Sunday, but but uh, obviously didn't get the job done. And uh, uh, looking forward, we just got to, you know, play better. <laughs> That's it. Hitting-wise, I mean, you know, I'm sure you probably hear the same message from Walt that he comes on here and tells us that, that the bats are going to come around. Um, when is that going to happen? Do you, do you have any sense of, of it happening? I mean, I know... You know, you've had some stretches where you've been swinging it well this year. Bobby has like, is yeah. is it all going to come together at some point? I I believe so. I mean, uh, we we've got some some real talented hitters on this team, so it, it could happen at any point. I mean, I I can't tell the future, but I but I'm I'm real confident that that uh, it'll be sometime soon, and we'll we'll all be having, you know, we'll all be getting it going at the same time. Because you know, as, as you said, it seems like everybody's hitting at different times. Um, but I I definitely think it's sometime soon. What do you think is kind of the, the root cause of where things are from a hitting perspective right now, Chris? Um, I, I, I can't point my finger on one, th one certain thing, but uh, I, I definitely, again, hitting's, hitting's real hard and, uh, you know, to be consistent with it, um, just got to get in a groove and, and we haven't been able to do that. So we, uh, we got we to get on that uh, moving forward and I believe we will. <clears throat> You like getting out of the two hole? Yeah, I mean, I don't really care where I hit. I, I uh, just like to be in the lineup, whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever it takes. Uh, shame on me because I think I've asked you that before and you've given me the I just want to be in the lineup speech. So I, I well, should have known. I don't, that. Think, I don't think I've ever been in the uh, the two hole before, or maybe one one other time this season. I. I what if, I feel like you were there like two years ago, like 2019, early I mean, in the season. I thought you were there like batting in front of Ludwig. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I didn't even remember that. Good memory on you. <laughs> yeah. Anything else, guys? I'm good. Thanks, Chris. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, guys.